Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the country's biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And we've got one for you today. Fast Love is touring the UK and it is a sellout where it goes and it stars. Joseph, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Very nice. What an incredible thrill to be on a stage with a live band singing the music of a legend to sell out audiences. This is so rare. It doesn't get better than that, really. It's just a phenomenal experience. Um, the fans have accepted me fantastically and um, yeah we're just trying to do him proud and that's the main thing we're doing you know it's what you do as well is so beautiful it is a tribute you're not mocking him you're not no, making no, no, fun no, of no, him I'm not George Michael you know I'm never never ever admit that I'm George Michael you know I might look like him on a fast horse at 50 feet but you know as far as that goes that's as far as it goes with me you know um, I just try to keep his memory alive keep the fans happy um, and they embrace me very fantastically and um, yeah it, it's just great What's astonishing is the fact that these songs are not karaoke songs that anybody no. can do. They're really tricky. They're mostly very high. Mm. They're mostly very long and they're very difficult. How tough is it doing this length of show as George Michael? Yeah, amazingly tough. Um, I think the voice has gone down a, a pitch from when I first started the tour. But no, it, the thing is with singing, it, um, you know, the more you do it, the stronger your voice gets. So in a way that has helped me, but um, yeah, it's uh, all good. And listening to the sound check just now, the sound system is amazing, and that's part of it as well. You need to be helped in yeah. an arena this big. I mean, there's probably yeah. 2,000 people in tonight. Yeah. That yeah. must be thrilling for you to hear that around you, and then mm -hmm. the reaction of the fans on top. Yeah, it is. I mean, the thing is, it's it's a team effort, you know. Um, it's not just about me. It's about the sound people. It's about the, you know, the band we've got behind us. We've got excellent musicians. Um, we've got fantastic dancers. So it's the whole package, really. You know, once you get the whole thing together and it all falls in place, we have a great. Um, a great team fundamentally you're a great singer and you could go out as Joseph and be you and probably do 100 people in a club you chose to go this direction yeah. um, it was very smart in a way was there ever a moment you went do I want to be me or do I want to be George yeah that's a tough question really um, I've always really loved this, the music of George Michael um, and apparently I sound exactly like him when I sing so I'm told so you know I, I'm quite content with what I do you know I don't really I never really yearn to be mega famous so uh, this moderate fame is enough for me. Well, and I think as George proved, it has its downside. It's all well being a megastar, yeah. but of course then there's the price to pay. You, of course, get to take the glasses off and go home as Joseph and live a normal life. Absolutely. And still have the rock star lifestyle. Well, in a way, I mean, I, I kind of, um, I've got two boys that I'm responsible for that I look after. So, um, you know, I, I do, I'm seen doing the school runs in less than three days of the week. So, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, you kind of hear then you're back to normality. Tell me about the show itself and how you craft a show like this, because as I say, this is not some tongue-in-cheek parody. This is a recreation of his music mm. and these incredible songs. I mean, he had such an eclectic mix of songs mm. too. There's those mm. really moving ballads and then there's yeah. the camp old nonsense sort of high disco numbers. How do you balance that throughout the show? We just we just try to give a good selection of each song, of, of his songs, you know, from, uh, from the Wham days to... You know to the modern tunes and so um, as I say the fans have taken that in greatly and we just love what we do as we can hear the band are warming up now yeah. on stage and the that's audience Barker, that's um, George Michael's um, saxophonist they had on the symphonic at all warming up I can hear I guess what's amazing about that is he wouldn't want to be part of this if it wasn't good and I always think with tribute shows I've done many of them over the years in Las Vegas mm -hmm. where some of the best impersonators are mm -hmm. if it's not done amazingly it's awfully mm -hmm. crap and that's what's great about you I mean you're so authentic when did you realise you could stand on a stage and pull it off and be this good I, I, I've never really thought that I've been capable of doing it. Um, I just have to feed what people say. And um, so far with the reviews we get, I must be doing something right. So basically that's all I go on. And then the party element to the show. I mean, yeah. the girls do believe by the end of the show that you are him. And that's an incredible feeling too. There's a great atmosphere about the show. Yeah, it's a, it's a real compliment when people say that. You know, they say it's like watching George on the stage. But again, I, I'm kind of very, um, what's the word... Uh, I'm looking for, I can't think, um, I only live on what people tell me, you know, um, I'm not George Michael. If they like to have the dream of thinking that George Michael's on the stage and I'm doing a good job, then I know I'm doing something right. And musically, what are the moments you look forward to? I mean, there's those incredible careless whisper moments and then there's yeah. the wake me up before you go, go. Both are equally as magical, but incredibly different. Yeah, I love the slower ballads myself. Um, I think that shows your voice off more. Anyone can blast out a, a wake me up before you go, go, I'm your man. Um, but uh, I think this, the slower tunes really show your voice off the most. And I, I, I love singing those because it's quite an emotional experience for me. 
you know, you, you feel like you've got almost a connection with George there, you know, so that to me that's a very spiritual moment and I said to you right at the beginning it's so rare for any artist to have an arena this big thousands mm. of people wherever yeah. you go are you yeah. even surprised that people want to sort of buy a bit of his history because we're never going to get George back this is mm. the nearest we're going to get well I mean I, again I would look I would love people to think that you know um, obviously I'm not as I keep saying I'm not George but um, yeah if I can relive some kind of moment for them bringing back to them for this amount of time or whatever time they're in the in the auditorium then I've, you know that's my job done let's just talk a little bit about you if we can I mean prior to this what were you doing because I mean this is a gift you've got as I say you could easily be a singer in your own right should you choose to now you're doing these huge venues as George in Fast Love talk about before well obviously I've been a tribute now for over 20 years um, you know I was doing normal hotels festivals things like that but obviously now I've been taken on you know by the production company um, yeah it's lifted me into theatres and arenas and the show's just gone from strength to strength um, as I say what could I have been before obviously I was a design consultant before I used to design um, windows for people like Warner Brothers Levi's um, but now it's kind of um, yeah I've just fallen into what I do and what I love I, I can't imagine doing anything else I interviewed a Frank Sinatra impersonator in Las Vegas who's probably the best I've ever seen anywhere right. in the in the world. He has a little tot of whiskey before he goes on and okay. that's the moment he becomes Frank. Okay. Do you do that or is it an act? What What is your process? Um, I just go out there and sing. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Um, I put a suit on across um, and then I just sing. It's as simple as that. Um, I, don't, I don't particularly drink. Um, I'm practically teetotal. So I don't really need a drink before I go on, just the adrenaline's all there, and as I walk out, you know, providing the fans welcome you, which they, you know, 100% of the time do, I feel comfortable. You make it sound so easy. You're also incredibly humble. I don't know quite whether you know how good you are because these songs are so tricky and you make it look so effortless. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. Like I say, I must be doing something right, but as I say, I will always be kind of step back and say, look, you know, I'm not George. I'm Joseph. Um, I hope I'm doing a good job keeping his memory and music alive. And for me, that's all I can do. And hopefully if I make everyone happy at the, when they come to see the shows, then I'm happy. I spent a lot of money on advertising, um, building a big show with a production with a screen, um, with everything going on. It, it's just it's just incredible. Mm. Congratulations on everything, Thank Joseph. I'm looking forward to seeing the show tonight. You'll continue to tour forever? Um, as long as I can. As long as I can do it, I will do it. <laughs> and the glasses, very finely. You said they were actually George yeah, Michael's it's, glasses. It's strange how these came about, really, but um, I, I'd lost my... I bought a pair of these, and uh, I lost them, so I, I actually got in touch with people, said, do you know anyone that's got them? And said, well, George Michael's opticians have got them in London. Um, so um, give them a ring. So I phoned them up and said, have you got these spare glasses? They cost quite a lot of money, I can tell you. Um, and they said, yes, we've got a pair, and there's a bit of history behind it. So what do you mean that? He said, well, George's, these were actually George Michael's glasses. He, he took two pairs for his symphonic at all, and then returned them. So, um, so I'm literally wearing glasses that George Michael had. How special. Congratulations on everything. You're a phenomenal talent. Come and see Fast Love. It's on tour throughout the UK, and I think it will tour for a long time. Thank you for your time. Thank you. You're very welcome.